Welcome to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel, and today on this episode of Ask Judge Man, we're going to discuss the confusing, complicated card text that is Inspector Border. If you're new to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel, we try to make the learning curve in Yu-Gi-Oh! more feasible for all players, new and old alike. Today we will be discussing one of the more confusing cards that's come out in the recent sets. That card is Inspector Border. Let's read what it has to say. The first part of Inspector Border is just a condition on his ability to be summoned. He cannot be normal or special summoned if you control a monster. Although that would mean you couldn't technically activate a card like uh, Downbeat by tributing a Cyber Dragon and summon him because if he's your only level 4 light machine in your deck because that would be attempting to summon him. Although if you do play any other level 4 light machines you could play Downbeat to go into him. I would discuss using something like Transmodify and a level 3 light machine monster, although the only one in the game currently is Proto Cyber Dragon. That could of course change, so that might be relevant in the future. So you would not be allowed to attempt to summon him or activate Downbeat or Transmodify in these scenarios if he's the only level 4 light machine, but if he's not, you can attempt to use those to summon uh, Inspector Border from the deck, as long as it's not guaranteed that it would be Inspector Border. As per the second part of his effect, the part that actually confuses players. Let's read. Neither player can activate a monster effect unless the number of monster effects that player has previously activated that turn is less than the number of monster card types currently on the field. Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, Pendulum, and Link. If an effect's activation was negated, it still counts towards the total for that turn. Only count effects that were activated while this monster was face up on the field. That text sounds really complicated, but it's actually quite simple. Once Inspector Border is on the field, you start counting the number of monster effects that are activated. But in order to activate a car, uh, monster effect, when a card would be activated, you have to see on the field what is currently there. So if, if we look at this board, we have Inspector Border, and our opponent normal summons Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. At this point in time, they can activate a monster effect, because on the field there is a Pendulum Monster, one of the card types that, can, uh, that counts towards being allowed to activate monster effects while Inspector Border is on the field. The total number of monster effects that both players can activate for the turn at this point in time is one. Now, if at this point he were to play Chronograph Sorcerer into the Pendulum Scale and use it to Special Summon Time Gazer Magician, the total number of monster effects that could activate, be activated is still currently one, because currently on the field in total there is only a Pendulum Monster as the different number of types of monsters. If at this point he were then to Link Summon Heavy Metal Foes Electromite, he would not be able to activate a monster effect, because on the field at this point in time there's only one of those types of monsters, just Link, and at this point in time we would actually still be allowed to activate a monster effect because the total number of monster types on the field is still one, and we have currently activated no monster effects. So there's kind of a running total for both players based on the number of effects we've currently activated that turn. The other total that's being checked whenever a card would attempt to be activated or would be activated is what is on the field at that time. So at this point in time, he can still only activate one monster effect. He's already activated it. So if he were to Pendulum Summon, the Dark Worm and the Chronograph Sorcerer at this point, there would be two different types of monsters on the field. And he's already activated one monster effect this turn, so the total number of monster effects he can activate in total is two, although now he controls two different types of that monster. So we can also activate two different types of mo two monster effects this turn. Regardless of what monster types we are using or controlling, all that matters is that on the field there are these two different monster types that are listed on Inspector Border. Hopefully this was simple enough to understand, and if you're concern or curious or have questions about this in more detail, you can leave comments below uh, in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, you can also visit us at the Legacy Crusaders Discord server, which is in the link below. And we'll see you soon for another How to Play or Ask Judge Man video. Thank you guys for helping us um, reach our 1,000 subscriber milestone.